Hey everybody, uh, this is Graphing Polynomial Functions. This is uh, Integrated Math 3, Module 5.4. Okay, I'm straying from the book's instructions just a little bit. I, 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 I wasn't fond of their instructions, so I, ho I hope you don't mind. Uh, anyway, so our essential question is how can we sketch a graph of a polynomial function in intercept form? Okay, so graphing polynomial functions. Here we go. So, um, uh, we're going to graph quadratic functions, and they may look like, okay, quadratic functions, make they make those parabolas, so they can look like that. And, and if you're in my class, I'm just going to have you do just draw a general parabola function that goes like that, okay? Or they may like, look like that, okay? It just depends on uh, whether um, it starts off, this number starts off positive or negative right here. Okay, here's positive. See, I'm making a smiley face, and this is negative, a frowny face right here. Okay, <clears throat> so that, that's our goal right there, is I just want you to know that quadratic functions, x squared functions, uh, do uh, graphs like this or like this, okay? And um, uh, let's see, uh, let, let's go back to this. There, there is one turning point. It goes uh, negative, 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 and then it goes positive. So there's a, a one turning point here, and right here there's one turning point right there, okay? All right, so here's cubic functions. Cubic functions, if we graphed those, they could look like that. We graphed uh, those uh, yesterday or maybe the day before, depending on uh, what class you're in. They could look like that. This is a cubic function right here. Notice how um, there are no uh, turning points because it increases all the way on this one right here. Whereas this one, it increases and then it decreases and then it increases again. So there's two turning points. I like to call these guys their humps right here. There's two humps. This guy doesn't have any humps right there. And it might look like this. It might, it might start up here and it might go down and do this. Okay, so it might have two turning points or two humps right there. It just depends on whether it starts off positive. Think of a... Uh, a positive slope. It goes up in this direction right here. So this is when um, a cubic equation, it, go, it starts down here and it goes up in this direction. So this is a positive uh, A right here, okay? This would be a negative A. It starts, um, this would be a negative number. And so think of a line that goes down in this direction. It has a negative slope. So this would be a negative one right here. Okay, fourth degrees, uh, they could look like this, okay? So either one of these are good fourth degree equations. And I, I when I'm in my class, I'll hold both hands up and I'll say they're a touchdown sort of uh, graph right here. Or they might be a negative touchdown like that, okay? Fourth degrees um, uh, do touchdown graphs or negative touchdowns. It, it totally depends on um, if the leading uh, number in front of everything is positive or negative. This is positive right here, so, so I'd, I'd be holding Hold my hands up in the air and saying touchdown positive touchdown positive and this is negative because they're going down negatives and this is when it's a fourth degree uh, uh, graph okay fifth degree graphs okay let's go back to fourth degree graphs okay let's look at the humps there's one hump two hump three hump one hump two hump three hump one hump two hump three hump okay there might be just one hump on fourth degrees we'll talk about that in a second Here's a cubic function where it's cubed. There's only two humps, okay? There's only two humps. So it's always one less than the degree. So if it's a cubic function, then it's going to be uh, two humps or two less than that, okay? We'll talk about that, which is uh, no humps. We'll talk about that. Okay, so it just depends on where uh, whether it's positive or negative. Okay, fifth degree humps, okay? Here's a fifth degree hump. It's like a cubic hump. It starts off over here and ends over here, or it could start up here and end going down this way. And I should have put arrows right there and arrows right there, same down here and down here. But this is a fifth degree function. Let's count the humps, you guys. There's one hump, two hump, three hump, four hump. Do you guys see the pattern right here? Fifth degree hump has a fifth degree equation has four humps. Okay, and it, it and it starts down here and ends up here, or it starts up here and it ends down here. It totally depends on on how it starts off positive or negative. So this would be a positive. Again, think slope of a line. A positive slope would be 
going in this direction, a negative slope would be going in this direction. Okay, so this would be a, a negative fifth degree um, uh, polynomial function. Okay, so let's go back to um, our section A right there, and just and just put uh, right there in section A. There's only one turning point right there when it's a quadratic equation, when it's a squared equation right there, when it's a cubic equation. There's two turning points, okay, or two humps, one hump, two hump, one hump, two humps. Or there's no humps right there. It keeps increasing, increasing, increasing right there. So the trick is you find the degree, and it's one less than that. How many humps? Two humps, and then you start subtracting two. So there might be no humps, so you just keep subtracting two, okay? Here's a fourth degree equation. So there's three humps, one hump, two hump, three humps. Fourth degree, one less than that. Okay, or one hump. I didn't put one in there, but there would be like almost like a parabola equation. If we had y equals x to the fourth, it would graph a, a, a parabola looking thing and it would only have one hump right there. Okay, and then fifth degree has four humps. Okay, so there's four turning points right there. or Two less than that, or two less than that. So there would be four humps, or two humps, or zero humps right there, okay, on a fifth degree equation. A fifth degree equation could look like this. It could go up and go up and go up and go up. Like y equals x to the fifth is a, is a zero hump equation. It would just keep going up and going up and going up, okay? But they still start down here, and they go up in this direction right there. Okay, all right, so for here's the rules right here for an nth degree polynomial. Uh, yeah, uh, there's going to always be n minus 1 humps, or 2 less than that, or 2 less than that, or 2 less than that, or 2 less than that. So let's pretend like we had a, a 20 degree equation, something with x to the 20th in there. There would be 19 humps, or 17 humps, or 15 humps and so on and so on and so on and it would start down or no 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 20th degree would start up here and it would go hump 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 and go back up here forever and ever and ever and if it was negative it would start down here and go hump 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 however many humps and then go down this way okay and if, let's pretend like it was x to the 15th okay x to the 15th would start down here and end up here if it was positive. If it was negative, it would start up here and end down here. And 15, 15th degree would mean there were 14 humps. So 14 humps would go, I can't count them all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 14, and it will go back down that way. Okay, I'll let you do that fun experiment. Okay, and and for n being even, the graph would shoot up infinitely, infinitely on both sides. So it would be a touchdown thing, okay? And it would shoot down infinitely if n, if it started off negative, okay? And so let's say there was a, a, a x to the sixth in there. So there'd be five humps. Check it out. We'll do a negative, okay? Negative x to the sixth with five humps, okay? So it starts down here. One hump, two hump, three hump, four hump, five hump, and it would go down forever. Okay? All right. And then for n being odd, the graph starts off at the bottom left over here and goes up in this direction. Okay? Always with n minus one humps. Okay? And if it started off negative, it would start up here and go down here. Just think of a, a slope of a line. Okay? All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and sketch the graph of these polynomial functions right here, okay? All right, so here we go. So we have uh, an x, an x, and an x. We have x cubed, so this is a cubic equation. So because it's a cubic equation, it's going to go start down here, and it's going to end up here. Okay, so because it's a cubic equation, it's probably going to have uh, two humps, okay? It might only have one hump, but it totally depends on the intercepts. These are the intercepts right here. We set these factors equal to zero. Set this equal to zero, this equal to zero, and this equal to zero, and that will give us our intercepts right there. Okay, so there they are right there. Okay, so just imagine this graph is going to start down here, and it's going to end up here. Okay, so it's going to have two humps, okay? So it's going to go up through here and somewhere. I don't know how high it is until we get to pre-calculus. It's going to come back down 
and I don't know how low it is. I can't tell pre-calculus, and then it's going to come back up and shoot up there forever, okay? So it's going to look something like that. Again, I don't know how high this is. I don't know how low this is. I just want you to make a graph in general that looks like that. Okay, we'll learn more about this stuff in pre-calculus, okay, and in calculus especially. All right, so here's another one. Okay, look, this starts off negative, okay, so there's one, two, three, four x's, so it's going to start off negative. It's going to be start down here, it's going to start down here, and it's going to end over here, okay? So it's a fourth degree equation, so it's going to start off negative, and it's going to start in the bottom left and end in the bottom right probably has three humps and it, it will have three humps and this is how we know uh, from the intercepts we set that factor equal to zero that one that one and that one equal to zero so we go plus four plus four we go plus one plus one minus one minus one and minus two minus two and we get all those intercepts right here remember it starts down here and it goes up through the intercepts and it comes back down back and then back down. How high and how low? I don't know, you guys. Not till pre-calculus or calculus, but since these guys are so close, this is not very big right here. And these guys are a little bit farther. I, again, I don't know how high that goes until calculus, okay? You'll get there. Okay, here we go. All right, so Here's two x's right here and one more. This is a cubic equation right there, okay? So this is a cubic equation. Um, and so that means it's going to either start down here and end up here or start up here and end down here, okay? And since it's negative, it's going to start up here and end down here, okay? All right, so that's what that says. And it probably has two humps right there, okay? So we set those factors equal to zero, so x squared equals 0, x minus um, uh, 4 equals 0. There's our two factors right there. Remember, it's a, a cubic equation, and um, uh, it's starting up here, and it's ending down here. Okay, now this x squared equals 0, this gives us a double root. So what happens on the double roots, because x equals 0 and x equals 0, you get a double root right there. So what happens on those double roots is it doesn't go through the x-axis. That's a, like a pivot point right there. So it's going to look something like that right there, okay? So um, the x equals 0 is called a double root because it's happening twice, so it does not go through that x-axis. It curves back up right there. All right, you guys, if you are in my class, I'm going to assign you that. I hope that makes sense, and take care.